What happens when you meet Batman for the first time? When anyone meets a superhero or a villain in their lifetime, there's only a handful of gestures or emotions that can come out of them. This is true for Superman, Wonder Woman, Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man, or Thanos. But when you meet Batman for the first time in your life, you never know. No, I'll ask the questions. Who are you? Batch, you're starting to scare me. I scare a lot of people. Flash. In the movie Justice League War, released in 2014, from different factions, members of the Justice League come together. There, Flash, secret identity Barry Allen, gets the chance to meet the legendary Batman for the first time. Green Lantern, however, has been Barry's friend for years, and he's aware of Barry's frenzied fan love for Batman. So, when Green Lantern met Batman, he takes extra measures to introduce Barry to Batman. Barry's admiration and respect towards Batman is crystal clear in the following scene. It is a real honor to meet you, sir. Batman, sir, ba Batman, sir. I followed your efforts in Central City, Flash. You do tight, efficient work. Wonder Woman. The goddess has fallen in love with the mortal. But this is about the time they first met. Batman visited Wonder Woman's homeland for the first time thanks to the tracker he placed on her. The moment he set foot on the island, something magical had taken place inside of him without his knowledge. He went through the beautiful forest and something suddenly caught his eye. The goddess herself in her purest form. Batman wasn't able to resist. His inner urges took control of him. It's the first time Batman had ever forced himself on a lady. Diana was very much happy, yet this wasn't the place for that, so then came the punch. Bang! Martian Manhunter If you're in the Batman fandom, you might have already seen many first-time encounters between Batman and Martian Manhunter. But the first meeting happened in the movie Justice League The New Frontier, and it's surely one of a kind. The very first thing John sees when he enters the cathedral is a guy dressed in a bat suit taking down an entire cult. Even more surprising, that guy tracked him to his apartment, which John tells no one was able to do such a thing until Bats. Batman and John decided to join forces to stop the wildly spreading cult. But before Batman leaves the premises, he reveals his trump card to John. If John ever tries to double cross him, he'll only need a box of matches, and we all know why. I have a $70,000 sliver of radioactive meteor to stop the one from Metropolis. With you, all I need is a penny for a book of matches. Lois Lane Lois Lane is a reporter who's not only skilled, but also one who uses wit very dexterously in her job. On many occasions, she's been able to dig up the scandals, secrets, and embarrassing moments of notorious public figures while safely being on their good side. Even the billionaire industrialist, once who became the president of the United States, Lex Joseph Luthor, wouldn't dare mess with the famous Lois Lane. Because Luthor cared very much about the public's opinion, and Lois had the potential to shape the public's opinion. On such an occasion, the Daily Planet received news that the billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne is visiting Metropolis. So now is the time for Lois Lane to dig up the buried scandals and garbage on Bruce Wayne. He's nothing but Gotham trash. Rich, spoiled, and absolutely gorgeous. Yet when the time came, something that no one except for Bruce himself expected happened. Quick, is my hair straight? Mr. Wayne! Excuse me. Aren't you the famous Lois Lane? <gasps> oh! Superman, a tale from the days of Smallville. It's a cute short that finds the young and recently orphaned Bruce Wayne passing through Smallville when his car breaks down. Nearby, Clark Kent and his pal Pete Ross are playing baseball. They don't physically meet, but Clark notices the sad young boy in the car and wonders if he should have asked him to join in their game. World's Finest One of the more interesting encounters between Superman and Batman took place in the Superman animated series released in 1996. In the episode World's Finest, Batman tracks down Joker to a bar in Metropolis, and at the same time, Superman also makes his appearance in that same bar. Superman's initial reaction towards Batman is disgust and disdain because Superman doesn't tolerate the way Batman handles things when it comes to upholding the justice. But you know Batman, he doesn't give a dime. As soon as Superman touched Batman, Bats threw him over the counter with a super judo move. But physical damage can hardly contain Superman, and Batman had to face the wrath of that. However, Batman didn't come unprepared. 
and it only took an ounce to make Superman kneel down. Catwoman Catwoman has always been attractive and sexy, but this form in the 1992 Batman the Animated Series might be the most attractive form of Catwoman you've seen. Our story starts with an auction to raise funds for animal care. What's being auctioned, you ask? Well, it's none other than a date with the most handsome bachelor in Gotham City, Bruce Wayne. When the bid was set at $1,000, it quickly went for thrice that, but then out of nowhere, $10,000. The attractive Selena Kyle came with it. Bruce quickly noticed this green-eyed, yellow-haired bombshell and made his way straight down to talk to her about their upcoming night together. Dr. Meridian It's the car, right? Chicks love the car. <laughs> Dr. Chase Meridian was a psychologist who moved to Gotham City as a consultant to the police. The moment she saw Batman, she knew that this man was no ordinary man or hero that she would see every day. Chase was assigned to assist the Gotham PD, yet, since the first meeting, the only desire she had was being romantically involved with Batman. She was very open with Batman, showing her affection towards him, but Batman also didn't want to see her as yet another woman. Although Batman was slow in his own style, he showed his care and love for Meridian. Deadshot Deadshot, secret identity Floyd Lawton, is an excellent sniper who regularly boasts of never missing a shot, and is often considered as one of the deadliest assassins in the DC Universe. On the big screen, he's played by Will Smith, and if you've seen the movie Suicide Squad, you know what I'm talking about. In the Justice League TV series episode Enemy Below, Deadshot resurfaces once again. He takes up a contract to kill Aquaman. However, his plan was jeopardized by the Justice League. After the unexpected blunder, he makes a run for it. Both Superman and Wonder Woman were unable to capture him. But at the end, with Batman's help, they captured Deadshot. Yet, as a professional assassin, he didn't utter a single word about his contractee. Even the League's big gun, Superman, wasn't able to interrogate him. Then, Deadshot had to face Batman. Superwoman one of the sexiest villains in the DC animated universe, she was a founding member of the crime syndicate in the Earth universe that they inhabited. Her lover was Owlman, who is more similar to Batman on our Earth. When Superwoman came looking for the stolen quantum eigenstate device, or QED, she met Batman. She quickly noticed this exact counterpart of her lover, yet he was more handsome and skillful than him. After getting her hands on the QED, she attacked Batman and neutralized him, not out of ill will, but she wanted to have him only for her, making him her plaything. That's why she bit and sucked Batman's lips to brand him as hers. Guess she wasn't able to resist Batman's manhood. Bruce Wayne This is a once-in-a-lifetime meeting that we get to see. Batman meets Batman for the first time. In the Justice League TV series episode The Once and Future Thing, Batman travels to both the past and the future. In the future, he meets himself, now retired, yet has the same intelligence he once had. Before uttering a single word, both of them share a warm smile, acknowledging each other's feats and endeavors, as if to say they were proud of each other. Just the look Batman and Bruce Wayne share tells us what's going on inside their heads and the plans that they're plotting. 